Well, this is your weekly worship uh, plan for the Christmas season. And my question today for you is this, will you worship Jesus? Not just will you remember him, not just will you celebrate Christmas, will you worship Jesus? Because that's one of the big themes that comes through in the book of Matthew when it comes to this coming of Jesus, Emmanuel, into our world. In Matthew chapter two, verses nine to 11, we read these words. After they heard the king, they, the wise men, went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child and his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now that story has been uh, told again and again and again, and people, uh, because of this story, say, well, there must have been three kings, uh, three wise men, three magi, because there were three gifts. We don't know that. We don't know how many there were. Uh, we, we kind of build up our myth around the story. But the heartbeat of what happens here is these people come from a foreign land. They're following the star. They're, these, they're, they're stargazers. They're wise men. And they, and they end up in this place right where Jesus was, right where he had been born. And, and so just a few things to think about uh, as you go into this Christmas season. One is this, be careful about distractions. There's all kinds of things that scream for your attention, that scream for my attention. But again, this is a time about worshiping and worshiping Jesus specifically, turning our hearts to him, bowing down before him and praising him. And, and so think about what you have between now and Christmas time. It's coming quickly now. But just say, I want to get my heart and my mind focused on Jesus. Here's a few things that we see as we read this passage. In verse 9, we discover that they were led to the place of worship. For them, it was a star. But they had to follow to get there. This Christmas season, I challenge you to, to get with God's people and worship Him. You don't need a star. You don't need camels. You don't need to travel across country. Uh, if you're part of Shoreline Church, show up with us on campus or online. If you're not part of Shoreline Church, go to your own home church. If you have no church, join us online. Uh, leading up to Christmas time, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Day. We've got all kinds of great things happening. If you're online, that's great. If you can be with us in person, that's even better. But we invite you to, to jump into worship. They were joyful in verse 10. tells us they were joyful in the privilege of worship. Do you look at worship as a chore or as a privilege? As a hassle or as a celebration? I challenge you, Christmas season and all year round, to look at the privilege of worshiping and enter into that whenever you can. In verse 11, we see that, that these wise men, these dignitaries who travel from another land, they bow down, they physically lay themselves before Jesus. We can do the same. We can bow down in worship, we can bow in our hearts, we can bow physically, but surrender your life to Jesus this Christmas season. Bow down before him and worship him. And then they gave from their heart and they gave generously. These wise men brought gifts to give to Jesus, this newborn king. My challenge to you is to be generous with other people. Maybe do something special for yourself this Christmas season, but don't forget Jesus. Be generous with him. If you're part of Shoreline Church, give something towards first gift, and we will use that to share the love and the message of Jesus in 2023 through our congregation. If you're part of another church, give something to your church that can be used for missions, for outreach, for sharing the love and the gospel of Jesus. The Christmas season is about worship. Will you commit yourself to worship Jesus with growing passion? I hope you do. Will you pray with me? Lord Jesus, help us to grow as worshipers. Not just people who believe in you, not just people who have confidence in you, but people who bow down, who celebrate your goodness, who worship you. Jesus, this Christmas season, keep our hearts and our minds fixed on you because this is about your coming, your incarnation. Let us worship you with growing passion, we pray in your name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great rest of your day.